All righty. And we've got a few more people. This is so exciting. We, we already Make have- Make sure you um, pull down the everyone on your chat box so everyone sees your comments. I wanna see your comments. So when you put good in chat, pull down the everyone tab so we can all see your comments. And tell us who's here. Thank you, Odelia. Yes. Sorry about that, guys. There might be something I can click to just make everyone automatic, but I'm not sure. Let me see. Yes, I just put everyone. I just changed Yay. it. Perfect. Okay, forget what I just said. <laughs> Chat, type, tell us who's here. Tell oh, us who's technology. here. Gah! That's okay. We figure it out. Hi, Nicole. Okay, Nicole did just direct just did just DM me, but it should be set at everyone. So I think you guys should be everyone moving forward. Oh no, Heather's still direct message. Sorry guys, I don't know what else to do, but yeah, Heather's like, dang it. I will read your comments out loud. Oh, Jackie's here. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Rosa. Hi, Kimberly. Hi guys. Glam of a kind. Hello, Rosa, glam of a kind. Yes. Hello. Hi, Laquita. Hey, Debbie, Norell. Haven't Debbie. seen you in a while. Hello. Debbie, thank you for always coming, coming to my trainings. You have been on a few. I appreciate you. Hi, Diane. Hey, Diane. Okay, guys. Odilia, are you ready to rock? Ready. I think, I think I'm so. ready. I think so. Okay, guys. So um, I'll get this party started. Let's get this party started. So you guys, we, we are so excited um, to host this masterclass with you. Um, we've been pushing it um, because it's free and why, why not tune in and why not come on live? You can ask some questions in the, in the chat. Um, and then those of you tuning into the replay, if you're watching the replay right now, we appreciate you tuning into the replay. We're gonna try to be as laser as possible. With that said, sometimes 75 minutes becomes 85. So if you need to leave early, don't worry about it, totally cool. You can come and go as you please. I'll just keep accepting you um, into the Zoom, but you will get the replay so that if you you know have to leave midway through, you can finish out this masterclass. So to keep things organized, I am going to share my screen with some slides. Uh, so Adelia, once you see me share my screen and you see the slides uh, successfully, let me know. I think it's going to share Facebook first. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. Yeah. We are going to um, open the slides. It might take a second because of technology. And I'm actually going to present. We have so many more people coming into the masterclass. I'm so excited. We have 14 Yay. people, 15 people. Yay. If you're joining, you just showed up at the right time or about to get started. I'm just, um, oh man, it wants me to exit page. I'm going to wait. Sorry guys. It might be a lot with the zoom. Okay. Actually that looks like, that looks like it's working. Odelia, can you see? Yes, welcome. Awesome. Awesome, guys. So bear with me. I'm actually, I'm visiting my mother um, in Pennsylvania and nothing um, negative about Pennsylvania, but the Wi-Fi can be a little bit different. Okay, I'm going to get that out of the way. It looks like it's not letting me present. One second, guys. Um, ah, it wants me to exit the page. Wait. All right, we might just do it this way. We might just do it the old fashioned way. Um, just wanna make sure I can click through. All right, guys, I'm gonna exit the page. Sorry about this, very not what I was planning. Let me know in the comments if you've had a tech issue this week. <laughs> I'm sure some of you have. <laughs> Um, and I'm just going to open it again. And I think closing Facebook is probably a good idea. When in doubt, close your tabs. That's your first tip of the masterclass. <laughs> when in doubt, close your tabs. Okay. I'm 
just get this get this up again. <sighs> All right, well, the first slide is pretty self-explanatory. Odelia and I welcome you to tonight's masterclass. We're gonna go over five potentially costly mistakes that you could be making as a live seller. I know some of you tonight are advanced live sellers. You have been selling since day one. Some of you might be, you know, you've dabbled and some of you tuning in may never have hosted a live sale before and it makes you want to throw up at just the thought of it. Tonight's, <laughs> master <laughs> Tonight's masterclass is for all of you. Um, and I share this honestly because Odilia and I, we have created some really great educational um, pieces together, including a great guide called the Valuable Vintage Clothing Guide. And when we come together and talk, we're constantly learning from each other. I learn from her, she learns from me, and we've both been in this game for quite a number of years. Um, so whatever level of live selling you are, you're going to take some kernels from this that you may not have known before. Um, and let me just make sure that I can move forward with this. And thank you guys so much for your patience. Okay, this is working. I apologize, it's not ideal but I don't wanna disrupt the flow of this masterclass. So I'm just gonna keep it as is. So first guys, I'm gonna open up tonight's masterclass and then Odelia, who has had 20 years in the business and she's gonna share more about herself momentarily. She's gonna take it away with the actual trading portion. But I first would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Um, do any of these statements resonate with you? And this is if you've already hosted a live sale. Do you show up for a live sale asking yourself, I, I hope I can make some real money on this show? Like you're kind of like, okay, um, like I hope that this was worth my time. I hope I make at least a return on my investment. Or do you wrap a live sale telling yourself, or have you ever experienced this, you know, where you're kind of like, okay, that was okay, but like I wish I had more time to prep for this. I know that I've had that sentiment where I've jumped off a live sale and I'm like, oh my gosh, that was hot car mess. I wish I had more time to prep. And, and maybe you resonate with all of these statements, but have you ever thought to yourself during a live sale, oh my freaking God, I'm not selling anything. Like you're looking at the comments and like nothing's happening. And you're like, what am I doing wrong? Like, why aren't people buying things? I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. I see definitely one chat. Heather says, definitely. If you guys click the everyone um, response, let us know, you know, which one of these one, two, three resonates with you the most. I know for me, it's number two. So I'm gonna see if, if, if you guys reply. But anyway, the point being is that if any of those statements resonate with you, it's a good thing that you're here because we all experience those sentiments at some point as live sellers. And we're going to talk about this a little bit deeper in tonight's training, but it does all come back to mindset. And those are the mindset, those are the negative mindsets that we begin to have when we're just like, kind of like deer in headlights and we don't know what to do. And so I commend you guys for being on tonight's live because you are seeking out information so that you don't begin to get into those negative mindsets when you're hosting a live. So myself and Odelia, um, we understand um, that you guys, you know, have these struggles and we are here to help you <laughs> to never ask yourself those questions again. And I'm gonna briefly introduce myself and then hand the mic over to Odelia. But that's me. Um, I actually look like a deer in headlights here, which is kind of funny, but I built I built these slides today. So I found like the first live sales screenshot that I had of myself on my, la on my uh, laptop. But this is me in my resale room hosting a live sale. So I started selling live in 2020 when I founded Vintage and Lux Boss Babes. It was called Thrift Boss Babes back then. If you're an OG and remember that, let me know in the comments. Um, and I have been live selling for the last three years. And I have definitely had my fair share of highs and some mediocre lives. But it's been the mediocre lives that have taught me the most and have allowed me um, it enabled me and empowered me to be able to tell you guys, oh my gosh, these are the mistakes 
So this is what I've learned. And I'd like to share this information with you so that you can stop making these mistakes. Um, I think live selling is accessible to everyone. Um, I believe you can do it part-time or full-time. I've always done it part-time as you'll hear from Odelia. She leaned a little bit more toward full-time for the last two years. Um, but again, live selling is something um, that, you know, it, it doesn't always come naturally to you with your first sale, but over time and with the insights and with support from people such as us, you can become a pro very quickly and begin to level up your success very quickly. So Odelia, and I'm going to hand the mic over to her. But here's her most recent live sale. So Odelia, why don't you tell um, our viewers a little bit more about yourself? Sure. Uh, I'm Odelia with Styled by Odelia, if you don't know me. Um, I have been, um, I started my vintage business actually um, in 2002 on eBay and uh, like a lot of us. And, um, you know, I don't know about you, but there was, there were times over the years that I was like, oh, if I could just get my pieces out to more people at a time. I could just get people to see more at a time, more people, more visual, more people looking at my stuff. I would sell more. I, I do sell, but I need more people to see it. And then we got to the live sale and during around the pandemic time. And oh my gosh, it's just turned into this big whirlwind. And I took to it probably because it's my personality and I do, I do um, public speaking in other areas, but it was just a godsend for a lot of us. I mean, we can just show all our stuff at once and, and get a bigger, a bigger audience. And it's great. And here we are like several years later. Now I started a little bit later with boss face. I got started on in Thanksgiving in 21. Mm -hmm. And then, and then in January of 22, I did my first live sale like six weeks later. I mean, I was like posting like gangbusters in between which I will get to. And, uh, and here we are, uh, you know, it's probably, I'm, I, do I still have the, do I still hold the record? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I actually hold the record on boss babes for the most, um, money, money sold in one live. Now it was, we were doing Lux for less, which I miss. Yes. We got to do Lux for less again. I may have to do my own Lux for less. So there was yeah. lots of Missoni and Gucci and Belmont and all that good stuff, but it was super fun. And, um, I, had a, I'm going to say I had a mediocre uh, live sale, my first one. And then they just went up from there because I followed a few things um, regarding preparation and aesthetic and all of that. And I'm even when nobody's there watching, cause they're all on all these other lives. I still do well because I kind of stay consistent. Like the things I do to prep are consistent and that's really what it is and I have the mindset that I'm going to go in there and just do my best show and um and I think that's where where we're going towards what we're trying to do, to come across is it's not easy I mean you can't just get out of bed and go I'm gonna do a live sale it's gonna be great there's a few a little bit of preparation but it is pretty simple and it can be taught like we're not special it's really um it can be taught to anyone. And if you're new and you're nervous about it, or if you're been doing a few and you're kind of struggling and don't know what you're doing wrong, we're going to go through these points. And um, trust me, this is not rocket science. We can all do it. And we can all do really good lives. And now that it's so popular and there's such great um, gosh, competition, which is actually a good thing, not a bad thing, because competition breeds more viewers and more sales for everyone. It's not a bad thing. I think people think there's so many live sales. Um, nobody's seeing me. It's just, that's actually a good thing. But, um, and now we've got platforms like ISO open to boss babes, which is just taking it to a whole other level. So we are just here to prepare you for, this is here to stay. And if you can take advantage of it, you are really going to up your um, bottom line. Now I have officially a month ago, semi-retired. That's why you don't see me posting and stuff as much. Yeah, mm -hmm. semi, <laughs> I'm just as busy, but um, I'm, I have the opportunity to do like just my favorite parts. I don't post as ma'am. I'm doing some collabs and things like that, but uh, I'm still doing live sales here and there because I love them and because I'm good at them. Yeah. And I'm anxious to like now be on the part where I can actually teach some of this and get you guys to level up your live sale because it's good for everyone. You do a live sale, we get more customers on the page, we all sell more. So we're all in this together and we're gonna help you through this. I love that. Thank you so much, Odelia. I mean, hearing her speak, 
Like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's go. Like, it just get, it gets me so hyped. So I think you guys can all agree with a lot of our next points here. Um, and we're about to jump into the five specific mistakes, which Odilia has so much to share with you. But I just want to read through this really quickly because those of us that may not be hosting live sales might think to ourselves, well, do I really need to host a live sale? I mean, okay, maybe you don't. But like Odelia shared, it's a matter of like reaching a lot of people at once. Um, mm -hmm. And so your, your path to success can be a lot faster. But here's some other points to be made. You're going to build your brand as a live seller. People are mm -hmm. going to gain trust with you because of your visibility. You're going to reach new customers and form relationships. About 80% of my clients have purchased from me before because they know they can trust me. Um, you're also going to understand the marketplace in real time. Now, selling you know, live, it depends where you're selling. There's going to be a different market, every platform. But it's really also going to show you like what's selling and what things are selling for really mm -hmm. fast. Right. Um, as well as the opportunity to sell quickly. Um, my last live sale, I think I hit over $800. You know, we've seen thousands of dollars sold in a live sale. Um, that's that's pretty phenomenal money. Um, it's a 4D experience. So a static post is never as good as a video one, right. Right. you know, period. And then also like, if you guys are familiar, I mean, I love a market, I love an expo and you can do really well at them. But I think that now, that we're post pandemic, more and more people are shopping in person, but it's really annoying to drag all your stuff to an in-person event. So basically a live sale is like hosting a vintage expo in the comfort of your own home, sans the schlepping, okay? Mm -hmm. And then as well as the high booth cost, you know, I know the, I think the Manhattan Vintage Show is 1200 for the weekend. It could be 16, depending on the type of booth. So that's a huge chunk of money. Also consistent sales and structure. Um, when you're posting, and I'm just comparing this to posting, you can kind of assume, okay, for every, every hundred things I post, I'll sell 10 in the first week. And you can kind of estimate your sales. But with live sales, like over time, you can really be like, okay, I know I'm going to make about 500 or I know I'm going to make about 400. You do once a week and then you have an understanding of your sales volume per month. Um, so those are just some of the benefits to being a live seller. But here's some of the fears, okay? So again, I just really wanna make this masterclass for everyone. Um, you know, some of you might still be like, hey, I am nervous on camera. I am nervous on camera every time I go on camera, guys, because sometimes I don't even know what's coming out of my mouth. Um, but I just push through and have learned that my authenticity is what makes people like me. Um, but that does take time and practice. So I understand you might be nervous on camera. You also might not know what to sell. You might also know, you, you won't know what to price or how to price. Um, you don't know your target customer. You're comparing yourself to others. Happens all the time, it's only natural. You feel like you don't have enough time because you have a full-time job and you're like, oh my God, how am I gonna do this live sale? And you might have a belief that people don't care about you. And that's also, a, that's, that's a really big one because I can understand it's kind of like, oh, I feel like I have to be most popular on the internet. No one's going to care about me. Um, but what I will share is I have seen some sellers that like they're not popular on the Internet. They're not like popular, but they have quality merchandise. They set up their live sales correctly. They do the work and they sell. <laughs> so I like to just remove that from the uh, dashboard because it doesn't matter how popular you are if you're not doing the live sale strategies correctly. It's going to decrease your chance of actually selling. Yeah. So woo, we get all of that. And again, I commend you guys for being here because when we don't seek educational insights, we just keep making the same unconscious mistakes over and over again. And we dig a deeper hole for ourselves. We just think, oh, I can't do that. Or I'm not good enough. Or this isn't right for me. And we begin to feel insecure. We don't take action and we're frustrated. So on that note, that's why we created this masterclass for you. We want to make sure that you don't feel those things, that you're not feeling a lack of action, frustrated, insecure. We want you to leave this masterclass feeling a little bit more clear about some things you didn't realize you were unconsciously doing. And you can stop now, or at least you can have some self-awareness. It's kind of like self-development. You can be self-aware, and then you can take action in the moment to stop doing that old pattern and that old behavior. So 
I'm going to hand the mic over to Odelia and she is so inspiring. Um, you know, I'm just going to talk her up for a second, but like she comes on a live and she just owns it. You know, there might be 12, 15 people on a live and she keeps going and she makes it happen. Um, and she has been in this game lo long enough to have witnessed um, from some of our peers in live selling what to do and what not to do, as well as learning from her own experience. So she's going to talk about these mistakes. Um, if you guys have a notepad and want to take notes, I highly suggest that, but you'll also get the replay. So Odelia, take it away. Oh, I'm going to share right. the slide here. Okay. Am I on camera? Because I can't see myself. Am I on there? Yeah. All right. You are on camera, but like okay, on the great. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And her stuff is great. Thank you so much. Okay. So all of that, all of what she just said. Um, I, I like the one, I like that one because I hear this a lot, you know, I'm not this popular people. I don't have like it's a, a popularity group and I can't be on. Let me tell you something. I am not popular. <laughs> I have a good work ethic and I love what I do. And I want to like present that to the, to the, to the public. And I want to present that on a show. That's it. You know, I mean, trust me, I have had 35 people, 40 people on a live. I've had 14 people on a live. But let me tell you something. I would rather have 14, 16 people on a live um, that stay with me the whole time. That is what I, I think I'm proud of. And I think that's a sign of a good live. Whether I have 20 people or 10 people, and I'm not someone who regularly gets, don't get me wrong. I'm not someone who regularly gets 30, 40, 50 people in a live. I don't even know that many people at, at, on at the same time. But if I have 10 people, hi, Christine, or I have 16 people or 24 people, you know what? Those people stay. And they watch the whole show and a lot of them buy and those are the people that buy and that's fine with me. If there are 10 people, but they're engaged and they're listening to me and they're enjoying themselves and yeah, they're buying. I am so happy. The popular part, nobody cares. That isn't going to help your wallet. So do not work from that, um, come in from that, from that angle. And that as goes into mistake one, which is working from fear. And what I see Exactly. That's exactly right, Christine. You need a handful of people who like what you have and want to see more. That's it. But going back, like starting from the beginning, I know that um, not everyone has our experience working, um, speaking in front of people. And not everybody has my loud personality or Sammy's experience in this business. It, it, it's all right. And I think that really, that really um, um, stops people from trying. Um, Debbie from Rust and Pearls is a perfect example. I'm going to use you if you're watching. Uh, she and I have done um, zoo, um, lives together to help her um, confidence because she's a much different personality than I. She's very quiet. But all it takes is a little a, a change in perspective. We aren't in this business because we don't love it, because we aren't passionate about it. And I hear a lot of, well, I don't think my stuff is good enough, or I don't have enough good stuff, or I don't really know enough. If you bought it, you love it for some reason. If you're high medicine, if you are um, in this business, it's because you have a passion for vintage or luxe or vintage luxe, or I love all of it. So that's all you're doing. You're just projecting that to the public. If you and that whole, I'm not an expert. You are an expert. You are, you are the expert of what your inventory is. You are an expert of what you purchased and why you purchased it and why you love it. And uh, yeah. Oh, I love that, Dolores. In my um, IRL, in my real life, I uh, talk about um, certain things like staying in the moment and, um, you know, and one of my favorite mantras is not comparing my insides to someone else's outsides. It's very easy to do, especially in a business where we see someone like, oh my God, they have like 50 people on their live and they're doing so much better. And oh, I think that, no, none of that, none of that is true. Um, everybody, you cannot compare yourself. You have no idea what somebody's reality is. Um, what, you, what, what you do know is that this is something that you love you're in this business because you have a passion for it and that's all you're doing. So you have every reason to get up in front of that camera and show us your goods. Now, if you're nervous about your um, pieces or pricing or whatever, that's all fixable. But anybody 
regardless of personality or popularity or self-confidence can get up and tell me about what you loved about this piece. Tell me what you're offering me and why you should buy it. You know, you are an expert at your pieces because you bought them. And we are all starting, trust me, on the same slate. We are, we are all starting on the same side. So I hope that uh, if fear is one of those things that's stopping you, oh my gosh, just get over it. <laughs> the best thing to do is just dive in. I, um, I had no idea what I was doing my first one, but I know that um, I'm smart and I'm capable and I know vintage and I love what I do. So if she can do it and she can do it, I can do it. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it. And I got up and I just did it. And guess what? Yeah, I learned, oh, okay, I need to uh, I need to slow it up there. I need to hurry it up here. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. And But a little bit more prep here would have helped. But I mean, yeah, it's, it's it was such a great learning curve. They just got better from there. I just feel like so much of our life, we miss coming in from fear because it's um, fear of the unknown, fear of we're not gonna get what we want or, oh my gosh, we're gonna lose what we have. Uh, we're going to lose um, credibility or I'm not gonna, oh, I'm gonna make myself look silly or whatever. No, not, not true. You are the expert of what you sell. You have, we are all starting on the same page and that's what I wanted to get over. Mistake one, I can't do it. I don't have the personality. I can't do it. I, I, um, I just never done it before. I'm more of a behind the, 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 the laptop kind of girl. No, 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 no. We're going to show you anyone can do this and we're going to walk you through this. Now we have created a bigger class, but, um, I have a, a whole module on let's not work from fear <laughs> because I think it's the first thing that, um, and not just as, as, as women, but as business women and as um, entrepreneurs, it's fear, fear of the unknown. And we're just going to, well, eBay is working for me. So I'm just going to stay here and work on my, and that's great. That's fine. But you can't level up without taking a dive. You can't level up without working from a little bit of fear. And remember, you only have to do something for the first time once, and then you just get better at it. That's mistake number one. Is anybody feeling this? You feel like the fear? getting started you felt that before before first live i know maddie said she was scared and maddie does a great live i'm looking for comments but i don't see them okay <laughs> I have Am I for a second let me see oh sorry it's hard to see from here but that's okay all right lack of preparation ah that covers like so much doesn't it that's like Oh my gosh, we could just talk literally for five hours about lack of preparation, but, oh, Maddie, thank you. But preparation is aesthetic, it's inventory, and it is a uh, presentation. And those are all things that can be worked on. But basically, in a nutshell, this is pretty much, yes, false evidence appearing real. That's really good. I like that one. I, um, I haven't heard that in a while. Um, if... If you expect, you can't go into um, a situation, any situation with without knowing what, you know, without having a few steps, without having thought about it. This is no different. Now, there's always, you know, times when we're, we lost control of our day or tech went out or Jackie, that's a really good, that's a really good uh, point. And guess what? I mean, people of all ages and all tech capabilities can do a live sale. And it, it's really has gotten a lot simpler, a lot simpler. I find ISO much simpler to get onto than uh, loyal shops. Those are things, I mean, tech, tech issues, they happen. They happen to all of us. Um, I have dropped, I've had my loyal shop drop in the middle of a, of a sale and boom, everybody left <laughs> three times one time. That stuff, it, it is scary. But it's all, I mean, but that's just life. You get up and you move forward. It is, oh my gosh. If I had to stop every time, if I gave up every time I had a tech difficulty, I would never sell a thing ever. This is just fear. It's just fear. And we all go through it. Now, preparation, preparation, and consistency. That's the key. Preparation, preparation, and consistency. Whether that's your aesthetic. Um, and aesthetic means we can all have a four by six piece, clean piece of home. We all have four by six wall, clean space that we can, um, that we can, we can shoot from. And uh, aesthetic really just means um, 
And, and again, we're going to talk in our big masterclass, we go into this in great detail, but it's about, are you, is it too busy behind you? Do you have that four by six clean? When I do a, when I um, started doing my first live, I was, we were still in my old townhouse and I was working out of my dining room, which led, which was like this big and led to my kitchen was like, like a galley. And I put the camera phone on top of the, the water spigot and like just put my rack way in the back on the wall of the dining room. So it looked like I had this big space. I just needed a clean space that gave me room to show the full garment and to express myself a little bit. Now, when you're in my studio, I have a cool backdrop. Sometimes I'll have a mannequin or two dressed with something, but I have a full space where you can see me and I can back up and you can see everything and it's nice and clean. There's not a lot of clutter. I'm not this close to my clothing rack. And now you don't wanna see what's over here. You don't want to see what's over here. And you definitely don't want to see what's behind the camera. It's bad. But I have that space that specifically to keep, so that you get a clean, and by clean, I mean, you get a clean view of what I'm showing. I can show the whole thing. You get to see me express myself. And I got to tell you, there is um, something to the way your eye moves <laughs> to the garment or to the, um, as a buyer, to everything else. If I can't see something fully, if I don't see the whole um, draft, if I can't, if you don't come up slowly and show me what you're, and just take a second to show me the seam or to show me the full length, of, I'm not going to buy it. I see that a lot. How can I buy something? I didn't see the whole thing or you did it too quickly because you don't have the space. Trust me, I don't, I mean, I've worked, my point was about the dining room thing. I've worked in tiny little spaces, but I showed one big clean space of here's my, here's my item. And you just got to look at the aesthetic from a buyer's point of view. If I can't see it, if I can't see the whole thing, or you're holding it too far back, or I'm not going to buy it. I, I don't know what that was. It's just like, that's just part of preparation. We all lose control of our day. We don't get to measure in time. Yes. Oh my gosh. Don't show the back. Or sometimes we don't get to measure in time. So we're measuring as we go. I'm, I swear, I'm gonna do a whole masterclass on don't do that. <laughs> now I am in the middle. Now I am in the middle of um, like liquidating all my um, inventory for my semi-retirement. So um, I, I may skip some of this in my own uh, future lives, but as a rule, um, measuring is oh, the worst part. It's awful. I know we have to take so much time, but it's part of preparation. And if you are measuring as you go in a live, for example, you are wasting your biggest resource in the middle of that live, and that is your time. Time is your biggest resource in a live. And if you're stopping to measure, I guarantee you're losing at least one person every time you do that. And we don't know that they're coming back. They're probably not coming back. Or, and I have done this too, which is not part of preparation, but just as an example, when someone comes in and says, oh, I missed the green dress. Can you show me the green dress? Yes, it's all about attention span. Attention span, what can they see? What can they hear quickly? Now, I talk quickly and I like to keep it rolling, you know? But that's not just because that's my personality, because I don't want to leave a lot of empty air for people to go, okay, because I have a pretty, I just realized in the last six months what a small span of attention I have during lives. When it comes to dead air or space or, oh, let me, I didn't measure any of these. I'm out. It's not me being rude. I just don't have that kind of, I want to see what's next. I want to see what's next. So I try to keep my, my lives rolling, kind of moving. And part of that is preparation. And have we done the measurements? Have I, um, when I'm measuring, I actually say in my mind or say out loud, you know, nobody's around. And if in my studio, what I'm going to say about this, okay, this designer who I know came around in the sixties and was really famous for their knits. So, and if I don't know, or if I'm not hundred percent sure, you know, I'm going to look it up. People like you teach you so much. I learned so much during your lives. I love that. Jackie has said that to me and it's like the greatest compliment. Um, you know, I learned so much during your lives. Yeah, because we've got preparation, research. This is, um, I don't know, but there it's vintage and it's 70s and that you have lost me. But if you know, and that doesn't mean I go overboard. Sometimes I will just go off on a tangent on a vintage designer because I'm a geek of that way. But 
a little preparation, a little bit extra information besides just the measurements. Um, and, and it's gonna go a long way. Show me why you bought it. You bought it for a reason. You want me to buy it for a reason. So tell me what that is. That's all it is. Some of you, what do you mention for measurements during life sales, Justly? I um, mention um, roughly the size and it bust, waist, and sometimes um, sometimes the hip. I don't go through like the, the all the all the different you know, like arm lengths and unless somebody asks because um, I've given an overall size. Um, but yes, education over selling. I um I, my I have had my I know that my father has said to me, I was watching your live. And if you talked less about designs, you'd probably get through more items. That's probably true. But that's not the nature of my, my particular life. I like educating. I like talking about designers. I like talking about, um, you know, what, yes, what I would style it with. I love doing that. I love talking about why this designer was important or, you know, what era this um, particular, if I'm doing jewelry, what era this class came out, which is really interesting. Or I love talking about it. It's fun. And yeah, um, it is fun. Yes, it does. Styling is a great prep. I style, I love when people style their pieces. Um, anyway, it's part of the preparation. And I go through in my mind what I'm going to say and what I'm going to talk about. Um, because this is a blue dress from the 70s. It's really cute. And I just thought of it. Eyes large. Okay. That, why am I buying it? I could have seen, tell me what you love about it. We are all experts on our own pieces. That's it. That's part of the preparation. And uh, what did I miss? What did you say? What did I miss? Is that a good one? So uh, Laquita said, and it went to me guys. So I just copied and pasted. Sometimes I research things and there's hardly any information available for that particular item. So that's frustrating. Okay. I mean, that's, oh, that is frustrating. That's that is frustrating. That is a common thing. Um, and uh, again, we could do a whole masterclass on how to research, right? Yeah. But yes, if you're researching or asking the group, that's a great way, yeah. by the way, to get interaction in the group is to ask for help for instance, which will also, um, which will also trigger someone's interest may want to purchase it before or tell you, are you going to put it on your live? That kind of thing. That's the whole building of, um, of relationships. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, Google lens is your friend, but so are other, there's lots of other resources. I love, we had a whole, um, didn't we do a webinar on this on, uh, uh, not just Google lens, but worth point and, oh, and using gem cool. and all those things as resources, um, sold, e yeah, all of that. So no anyway, I'll add it in the, the uh email with the replay um right. promote the other webinar about uh comps running comps i think what i'm just gonna chime in before we move on to mistake number three because we could talk about preparation all day is that if, day. You, if you can't find the item you know there were so many just like random department store brands back in the day as oh, they're sure. all but they weren't documented on the internet because the internet wasn't a thing so there's going to be designers you find right away and there's going to be designers that it takes some time and then there's going to be designers you never find and that's because they don't really have panache right so you're just going to have to evaluate the piece based on trends and quality and not so much the designer so you start right. to talk about this is silk or this has this type of collar or this has blah 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 versus talking about this random designer that you can't find any information about right yeah right you want to, um, yes, absolutely. This is all part of prepping. I mean, what do you, what do you love about this piece? Why do I want to buy? It? Oh my gosh. Well, I don't, this jab it or this ruffled part of the collar is amazing. It's really special. And this is why I bought it. And I think this is the, the, the piece of the star of this particular piece. You know, it's just about preparing by prepping. I don't, yeah. Research is a part, a big part of it by prepping is what are you going to tell me about that piece? Don't just pull it off the rack and tell and, and kind of wing it. You must have some sort of idea of what, what's special about it. What do you like about it? Yes, I love talking about designers. I also like talking about cuts and uh, clasps and things like that. What's special about it? Tell me about it. And that's all you're doing. You're just telling us about it. And 
the more excited I am about items, I've noticed they sell a lot faster, but I do. I get excited about my items. People are always going, you get really excited. I do. Oh my gosh, you're going to love this one. Oh, you're going to love this one even more. And I'll tell you why I'm excited about it. And guess what? Um, I'm, you're seeing how excited about it, about it I am. And it tends to bring in buyers and I'm not faking it. I bought it because I was excited about it. So now I'm just sharing that. And that's all it is. Um, all right. So we're going to mistake number three, because again, um, we will take, we, we're happy to take questions later, but I got to tell you, um, in the bigger class that we're offering, this is a whole huge model on, uh, on um, uh, uh, getting prepped for research and, and, and checking uh, uh, um, uh, fa fabrics and all that good stuff. It's a whole thing. But the point of the, this mistake is don't go in unprepared. So I've seen great, great, great sellers lose, I mean, with great stuff, lose viewers because they stopped to, oh, I forgot to forgot to look this up or I forgot to um, measure this or, or whatever. And then you, are, you cannot waste your most valuable resource, again, is time during a live. Okay, mistake number three, seemingly not engaged, not relatable. Okay, what that is, is not as mean as it sounds. I think it also can be um, stemmed from fear. Um, when people are not engaged, or we're, let's say, for example, um, you're, you're in a live, you're not, um, you're, you're very nervous and you're just trying to like, I don't know, just show things and, and not really being yourself. I'm a big proponent of staying in the moment and being myself. I think the greatest compliment, oh, my cat's here. The greatest compliment I ever got from a live was, I think people buy from you because you're just like exactly who you are. And you look like I could go have a drink or a coffee with you. And I wanna buy from you because you seem really relatable. I'm not trying to be something I'm not. I'm not trying to be like a car salesman. I love what I do. And thank you, Doreen. I love what I do. And I wanna talk about it. If I have, I, I do have the record of on live sale in vintage boss babes for money made. But if you put me in front of a camera and go, I need you to do just what you do, but I need you to talk about insurance. Oh my, um, okay, no. You're gonna have a whole different Odelia. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be bad because I love that. Um, when someone should, aw, yes. If they look drained or they're not being themselves, yes, you're going to, um, Wow, it's not gonna come across great. Um, I just, when I'm talking about not engaged, you just have to show us why you're excited. Show, be yourself. I, I have seen people, um, I don't know, it's just, I don't do well with, a, I like someone who's showing me their real self. People get nervous and I think sometimes um, we uh, wanna do something else or feel like we need to be something completely else in front of the camera or not sincere, or just want to be, they just want to be salespeople. We just want to sell my, I just want to sell my stuff. And it, I don't care how I, if how I do that. And I can see that very quickly when someone's not being relatable, they seem sort of not um, engaged, not passionate about their things. They just want to sell. They just want to like get in there and, and make some money. And it shows, it really does show. I just think you need to relax, be yourself, stay in the moment. And maybe you don't have any viewers. Maybe you've got 10 other lives going on at the same time. It should be the same. You should be just as excited about your, your things and, um, and, and give me the same quality. I, um, there's nothing like, I don't know how, how I'm going to put this, but I'm, there's nothing, you know, I'm not perfect, but there's nothing fake when I come out there. That is exactly who I am. You know, uh, I'm, I'm arguing with my husband during a live. I'm <laughs> deli. I'm um, enjoying myself. I'm talking about pieces I love. I'm talking about my day and what it's like here in Texas. That's just me being relatable and being myself. And that's who I am in real life. Um, and I think that that goes a long way from eating at the fear. Just show us who you are. Not everyone has the same personality, but if you're a little shyer, a little quieter, that's okay too. You have the same passion for these pieces. You just got to do it in your own personality. That's it. And um, I, I don't know. I just think that it's an incredibly underrated um, a, a part of this. It's just being relatable and being yourself and staying in the moment. Yes, we all want to sell. But if you're just like counting up, oh my God, I got to sell this and this during a live, I can see it. 
and it looks a little panicky <laughs> and I don't, and it doesn't make me want to buy it from you. It just doesn't just relax and be yourself. I mean, that's such an old wives advice, but it really is. It goes a long way in live sales. Did that make sense? Love that. Love that so much. Yeah. I think, um, we think, you know, again, back to what Odilia was saying, some of us are going to be more naturally animated than others, but if that's not your go-to, I have seen live sellers who are just knowledgeable, passionate, yes. a little bit more stoic. Is that the word? Crush it. You know, that's you exactly right. They're just being themselves. Um, yeah. yeah they're don't... just being themselves. You have to be an actress. So our next mistake, Odelia taught me this one. Odelia, yeah. what does this mean? Second word in live sale. I've actually said that in my lives. What is the second world of live sale? Sale. And what doesn't that doesn't mean everything has to be cut to the bone price wise and you can't have any inexpensive any expensive items with it. No, it just means I um why am I buying it from you tonight instead of buying it from you when you posted it yesterday or when you post it next week? Or why am I buying it um if if, if, you know, why am I sitting in your life? What is my benefit for buying this item as opposed to buying it like tomorrow? It, is it going to go up in price? Whatever. The second word in live sale is sale. Now, that doesn't mean that you can, you, I have, um, if you go on my lives, I love to bring out stars. I call them stars, whatever. Um, guess what? I have a star. My star is um, this fantastic, um, jacket that you are, um, that I'm going to post next week on the sale and on the page, I'm going to put on the way, but tonight, um, you get it first dibs at it. And it's one of my style stars. It's going to be a little hard, you know, higher, you know, price, but nobody else is going to see it. You're the only ones that are going to see it until next week. That's a star. Um, yes, uh, you want, but as far as like your regular priced items, how do I put this nice? I don't want to, why am I coming to a live to buy something that you just priced um, the same price on the page or higher? Give me some reason why I'm in your live sale. Am I getting free shipping? Are, um, are you doing um, a bulk discount? Are you doing, oh my God, we're starting $10 items. I love having, I love putting $10 items in in all my in my lives, they're fun. Am I? What what is it that you're doing for uh, me that I'm here? A live sale. And, you know, and we're never here, by the way, never here to tell people what to price or how to price it or what to show in your live sale. Let me be really clear about that. Now, if you buy the class, if you buy the class, and you opt in for um, private coaching, that's a different story. I'm going to get really um, in your face. In, um, I'm going to get really um, up close and personal with your inventory. And we're going to talk about pricing and what's going to work best for a live sale. That's, you know, that's really important. But in general, you have to give someone a reason to come to your live sale, whatever that is. Um, there's just no reason I should buy something if I can see it on your page for the same price or it's been there for a while. What is different about this? Um, and it's the same with, and we'll talk about, you know, there's all kinds of things here, you know, price point and are you putting in filler? Are you putting in, um, you're so worried about the quantity of items that you're not like thinking through every piece. When I walk into a live sale, I am confident about every single piece I bring in there. There is something about every single piece. And if I'm not feeling confident about it, size, oh, it's not good for this sale or price, or it's kind of boring, or I could get this, they could get this thrifting tomorrow. So I'm not, I'm not putting it in my live sale. Why? Because I do not want to waste my most important resource, which is time. But at the same time, I've got to give people a reason to come in. What is the reason? Um, if I can buy this for this price on your page, why are you giving it to me in the live sale? That doesn't, it's not going to give me um, any, any um, encouragement to buy it. It's, there's not um, an incentive for me to like sit there through your live sale and see what wonderful things. Now, when you say I've got this big slew of $10 items in my life, I've got a brand new um, Balmain dress that's just as I'm just waiting to show uh, during the, the live before any place. I've got some fabulous new 
Ella's got some fabulous new scarves. So vintage scarves from her European um, trip that she's going to show in her live after this. That's an incentive. But remember, live sale doesn't always have to do with price, but it does in some ways. It does mean why are why am I here? What is the incentive to be here? I don't want to buy something. I'm, I don't want to listen to you um, show me something that, that A, I could get thrifting for the same price right now in my own thrift, or I could get on your page for the same price. We got to have, show me why I'm here. Be confident in every single piece you bring out there. And if that means less pieces and you spend more time with them, but you sell it, yeah, that's okay. It's fine. I think we get it kind of wrapped up in filler and quantity that we don't feel confident about every single piece. And then guess what happens? We have two, three of those filler pieces in a row that don't sell and we start to seem less engaged because we're losing our confidence. That's where the prep comes in. All right. I love this. Makes sense? I love this. I mean, I'm learning all over again. I don't know about you guys. Please like let us know in the comments if some of this is like, oh my God. Ah, but like quickly, you know, let's say you have some great piece and you're like, you know, posting it somewhere else besides vintage and Lux boss babes, um, you know, recognize that a pool for people to buy from you on a live is that they are going to get it at a better price on a live. So, you know, for example, I just went to Europe and I thrifted all of these pieces and I still made sure that I was pricing things the way I wanted to price them. You know, I'm never gonna, we're not, we're not gonna tell you guys how to price, but I knew that I was gonna also hand off some of these pieces that they didn't sell in the live right. somewhere else for double the price. So I know for my live sale audience, for me to say, I'm giving these to you guys first dibs. Right. From Amsterdam for the best prices I can offer you right now. But if they go to my friend in Brooklyn who has a store, they're gonna be three times as much. Um, you know, so. I'm giving you guys first dips. And that was the pool for them to the live sale. I'm not selling them $250, 1950s dresses, you know, cause I'm gonna do that at the brick and mortar, but I can right. do that for 75 on my live and people are very happy with that. And they right. feel like they were taken care of. Right. And I have absolutely purchased things specifically for my live to jazz up my live that possibly I may not have made a ton of money on or broken almost even in, in some cases, but I knew they were going to pull people. They were going to excite people to my live. And I was going to make that up on some of my other pieces. Yeah. I, um, it's, I mean, I have absolutely um, sacrificed a little bit of the bottom line to bring in exciting pieces, to bring in excited buyers and make it up on other items. It's really important. Um, you just, I can't, I can't, I literally feel good about every piece I go into a live with because I have curated every piece, just like you curate your own. And, uh, and, and so I'm not worried about filler or having three, four, six in a row that don't sell because they weren't that special, but I needed to fill up the time. Time is our biggest resource. That is what I hope you take from that. <laughs> I love it. So our our fifth and final mistake, Odelia. Follow up, follow up, follow up. Follow up, follow up, follow up. I um we actually did a whole webinar on follow up. But um, follow-up is so many things. And again, during the class, we'll go into great detail, but it's not just about, um, okay, let me see if I got any, let me wake up and see if I got any um, um, after sale. That's great. I mean, we love to wake up and go, oh, somebody claimed it after replay sales. But it's more about, um, did somebody ask you a question during the live? And they were like, I get that all the time. Do you have any more of those Western pieces? Or did you already hit that green piece? Or do you have something like that? Do you have that in another size? I do. Um, could you DM me or I'm going to get your name down and I'm going to talk to you afterwards. I mean, again, you got to save the resources for the time, which is your biggest resource. And I got to be honest, right? Well, uh, I'm going to say this really quick. I do it too. It's going to be really easy because you want to be nice to go, I've done it. I did it on my last live and I know better. Um, uh, hey, did I miss the green dress? Can you? Sure. Let me get it back out really quick. And guess what? While I did that, two people just left. <laughs> it's so, um, it's so, um, it's, it's so easy to want to be nice and go, well, let me go. But attention span, time, resource. That's when you go, you know what? I, I did go it, but you know what? I will send you a little video of that after this. Just DM me or I'm going to get your name and I'm going to send you the details after that. Let me move on. Boom, boom, boom. 
boom, you just have a follow-up, a really good chance you're going to sell that, but you didn't lose the sale from somebody leaving. Um, follow-up is more than just the replay sale. It's the, it's the after sale. Hey, did you know I have earrings that go with that necklace you got? Or I have another one, another color. You want to see it? It's no big deal. I'll just shoot you a video. I'll shoot you a video. You know what? I'm going to shoot you a video. Here's some things um, that I didn't, uh, I've got some other pieces just like that. Or if you like that, I've got some other 1930s beaded purses. You might just want to look at it. I always go, no pressure Because with me, there is no pressure. Yes or no. But I'm not going to know unless I unless I try, right? No pressure is my favorite, um, <laughs> my favorite saying on a, on a DM. No pressure. Let me show you these. Here you go. Oh God, I love that. Let me get that. That is a follow-up. That is follow-up. That is not waiting for no pressure. P-R-E-S-H. <laughs> um, no, that is not waiting for, <laughs> that is not waiting for um, my replay sales to come in. Oops, sorry. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love a resale play sale. I love a sale that falls in my lap, but you know, that's, that's not always reality. A um, follow-up is, oh, I think you asked a question during my life. Did you want, did you want more clarification on those measurements? I can help you out. And if somebody asks you, Hey, I'm a little, I bought, I claim something, but I'm a little, I'm a little sticky on the measurements. You get right to that, get right to that because if they don't, if that doesn't work for them, you need to find them something that does if you have it. If not, it needs to be able to be available to whoever's next. It's just about following up, not going, well, my life's over, my work is done. That's fine if that's all the money you want to make. If you want to leave that money on the table, that's okay too. But a follow-up is not just about the replay sale. It's about the after sale. It's about answering questions. And it's about reaching out to people who you think might like something else. Because... Um, and this isn't a sales tactic. This is a Odelia as a buyer tactic. If I win a deco piece that I love and you've got more that you can give me before somebody else gets them, I want to see them. I may not like any of them, but if I do, I'm going to buy them. That's it. That is as a buyer. Um, it is about making a better. Um, and I think that was the, like the point of the webinar when we did this is I'm making a better um, buying experience for the buyer, a better experience for the buyer, an easier buyer experience. And that's where follow-up comes from. It's not about hard, we're doing the hard close. I'm done. So now I'm going to attack everybody. No, as a buyer, I appreciate yeah. if you know what I like and you want to show me some more pieces. I may not buy them, but I, may be, I might buy them all. You know, that's it. It's about you going, oh, I see you like that. I've got something I think you would like. That's it. I love this. And, you know, this just happened to me recently. I have a new buyer in Canada. Yes. Um, she's got hips and a 26 inch waist. God bless her, <laughs> her ideal body, but she loves 1950s. And, um, you know, I showed her all of the 1950s pieces that I thought that she would like. And I tried them on, even though they didn't fit me and like measured them for, for her. And she was so, so ecstatic. And then I posted something that I sold on my stories and she's like, oh, sad face. I didn't see this one. So she was kind of offended that I hadn't shown it to her. Now she didn't realize it was a 23 inch waist. So I wasn't going to show it to her. But like in her mind, you know what I mean? She wanted to know what I had. Like she, she was ready to buy more if it was going to work for her. And that really showed me, oh, wow. Like if I don't share with people, like they're, like yeah. they're actually upset. It's not the other way around. That right, right. We're not doing the hard clothes. We're not selling yeah. cars. Oh, you bought this. Let me add this to your package, your, 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 your stock package. No, it's about making a better buying experience because as a buyer, and I am very much a buyer these days, I appreciate it. So I want someone to treat me like, like they care about um, what I like. Yeah. yeah, like VIP. Wow. Odelia, thank you so much for just spitting so many raw, real facts at us. I mean, can you, like, give Adelia a round of applause? Again, I'm sitting here and I'm like- taste. That's just a little taste, but it's is, five things that hopefully you get something from. And we have so much more to offer you guys. I'm gonna take it away from here um, because we have about 15 more minutes left. And so I hope you guys stay till the end because we have something really special to share with you. And you guys yes. back to getting first dibs, you're getting first dibs. Those of you that are on this live tonight are literally getting first dibs to what we are about to share with you. So first tell us in the comments really quickly, which one of these mistakes like you kind of resonated with the most? Was it working from fear, lack of prep? feeling not engaged, um, not, you know, bringing people to the party with some sort of sale or some sort of incentive for people to show up for your live sale, uh, or maybe falling short on follow-up. 
So you guys could put, you know, one, two, three, four, five. I'd love to see in the comments which ones you guys resonated with the most. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna add one more little free tidbit <laughs> that we had talked about, um, posting. Now you can yeah. do three, four, five, six lives and get your following. But if you'll notice when I introduced myself, I told you about how much I posted in that six weeks uh, between um, joining that Thanksgiving and then doing my first um, New Year's or whatever it was um, live, I had posted a ton and I had made sales and I had introduced myself that way. And I had become like, see, I'm a real person and I have great stuff. And this is what I have. You um, can wait and build a following or you can jump on the bad wagon and post. How am I going to go into your live if I have no idea what you saw? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll do it if you show me a preview, but if I'm familiar with you, you've already got a customer. The people that come to my lives, mostly, now I love new customers and that's what I love about ISO. We always get new customers, but the people who generally come to my lives are people that have purchased from me on the page. I, I can't stress enough, even though this isn't a, it's kind of one of the mistakes, we'll call this an extra mistake. The correlation between posting um, as, as often as you can, may, might not be very often, but posting what you sell and the live sale. Like if I know what you sell, oh, I like her stuff. I'm going to go to your live sale just because I'm aware of who you are. You are building a following and you are building customer base and not just for you because the more posting we do, the more live sale customers we get. The more live sale customers we get, the more customers we get individually. I, I don't think I can stress enough the correlation between posting and live sale. You can wait around until you've done a ton of live sales and got your following, or you can bring a following. You can already start your following. Appetizers. With you. That's Doreen. That's really Appetizers. That was, I love that. that was a freebie. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. And, and you guys, so there's so much more yes. to learn. Um, there's so much more to just reinvigorate. You know, like if you're a beginner, if, you're an, if you are intermediate, if you're advanced, there's just we always need encouragement and just like reminders as well as like little nuggets around what is happening with the live sale landscape right now. But the truth is that it's already nine o'clock and we, we never have enough time to cover everything we want or this masterclass would be hours long, <laughs> like literally hours. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments now that you guys have given us some self-awareness around what mistake you resonate, resonated with the most, but let us know in the comments if we can make you guys a really awesome special offer to learn more. Just say uh, yes in the comments, just so that we can get your permission to keep going. You know, we have about 15 more minutes scheduled, but I would love to get your permission. Can we make you a special offer to learn more? And this is from Odelia and I. Awesome, I'm seeing some yeses. Okay, great. Thank you guys so much because that was our masterclass and you guys just learned so much and your activity in the comments was you know, evidence to me. And I think we had nearly 40 people in this masterclass, which is fantastic. Um, I am thrilled, but we are going to make you guys an offer you can't refuse here. So <laughs> I felt like doesn't have to be, I felt like a used car salesman, but this is actually me being authentic. If I were in your shoes, I would be like, sign me up. Okay, so live selling doesn't have to be so hard if you know the right way to go about it. Um, you know, we are real people. We're not going to tell you guys that there's like a secret sauce to making everything super easy, but there is education that can make it easier and more efficient and more fun for you. That's so so Odelia and I, we wanted to just share with you our recent live selling results because you know, you just heard all of our information, but we want to show you guys the numbers. So Odelia, really quickly. You just made five thousand dollars. What in the last two months? Uh, no, in the last um, uh, six yeah, I guess six weeks. Um, that's actually only three and a half lives. I say half because um, Debbie and I tried a double live before yeah. ISO was was really ready for it. So we only did like a half a live, and it didn't go well. But they have much improved those pieces of uh, double live things. So that was good, but. Um, so this is really like three lives and um i started i was the first um boss babe after sammy of course to try it so we didn't even have 50 members so um as you can see quantity not quantity 
quality, not quantity. Now, please, that does not mean you can't have less expensive pieces. You can't have t-shirts. What's special about it? What's awesome about it? If you don't think that it's exciting enough to talk about, leave it out of your life. <laughs> and if you get the class that we're going to offer you and you do, um, again, and you do pick some coaching from, um, do sign up for coaching from Sammy and I, we're going to get really, um, really up close and personal with your inventory and, and be honest about what's yeah. going to work and what isn't going to work. But you can see, this is just, this is on a platform. You see both of our totals are on, a, is on a platform that's relatively new. So y'all yeah. already coming in when you can really kill it once we've gotten more members. And, and doing live sales with, with loyal shops is still very much an opportunity. And I just made an announcement right before this master class yes. that two hour live sales on, on loyal shops during the weekend are only $25. So if you yes. guys have been on the fence about live selling, like the doors just opened and yes. that kind of we want you guys to see these numbers. Now I'm different than Odilia. I focus a little bit more on uh, quantity and that's because I take consignment clients um, so I've made $6,000 in the last three months selling 140 items, as well as a ton off the ISO platform. This is, this was just the easiest way for us to show you guys evidence of what we made. Right. Um, but the point of this is that I don't know all of you personally. So, some of you, you know, I'm, I might know by like three degrees of separation, but I want you to feel confident in our expertise that um, we are here to serve you to increase your live sale revenue. So Odilia and I, we have been working together for about six months now, and we came together to build an entire course on live selling. So you guys can head over to livesalesuccess.com right now and check it out. But I'm going to walk you guys through this course and explain to you why you should check it out for yourself and make a purchase to gain more education and insights around live selling and especially live selling in 2023. So we named the course, Cross Your Live Sales with Confidence and Charisma. And that's because confidence and charisma are really like the two most important things with live selling. Uh, yeah. If you don't have those you know, in your own special way, um, the other things don't seem to fall into place. Right. And we created a really easy course because Odelia and I are the most busy people. Like I always talk to Odelia. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so busy. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so busy. And we wanted to create, we know that you guys are busy too. So we wanted to create something that was really easy for you to digest. So what the course entails are 10 video trainings of about 45 minutes each. You can watch the videos. You can listen to the videos as an MP3. You have that option in the course. You can read the video script if you prefer reading. And you can read a video summary. So we have four ways for you guys to digest the information so that wherever you are, however you like to learn, you can just absorb it. And you don't feel like, oh my God, I have to log into this course to learn everything. Is super easy. And again, if you just want to be running, actually, like if you want to be running or cleaning or maybe thrifting, you can be listening to us in your ears. Um, next slide. So there's so much to this course. I just pulled out a couple of the most important things for you guys. Um, and it's funny because we actually mentioned like you don't have to be a salesperson, but yes, you do have to be a salesperson. It's, <laughs> it's like it's like a, it's like a paradox. Like no, you don't have to be a salesperson, but yes, you have to be a salesperson. So if you feel like oh my god, I don't know how to sell, or I don't know how to sell authentically, this course is for you. If you feel like okay, I hear you on preparation, but like what do I do for preparation again? This course is for you because we're getting into the nitty gritties. Um, if you're a little bit in the dark about how to create a live sale brand and what your point of difference could be in the marketplace, this course is for you. If you want some really specific tips, and I'm talking tips like Odilia and I, when we were creating this course, she was teaching me. She was teaching me some things. I was like, I never thought to do that. How to promote after your live sale, what to do after your live sale, and more. So this is gonna be a really, really nitty gritty expansion of the masterclass that you guys uh, experienced tonight. Again, this course is for brand new live sellers. Uh, this is for sellers that have hosted a few live sales, but you might be frustrated and you're like, I don't know what to do to learn more. Intermediate live sellers, you know, that, you know, maybe you've hit a slump, right? You know, you're kind of like, dang, it's 2023, what happened? 
where are my 2020 numbers? This live sale uh, course is for you. And really just anyone who's interested in learning about the business and marketing behind, behind successful live sales at a confidence crash course, because myself included, um, I run a business, you know, it, it, you, you, you feel alone. You feel alone and you're kind of like self-deprecation and you need to take a course every now and again to be like, yes, I have it. I have the power. And having that self-belief is literally 80%, 85% of the battle. And we want to give you guys that in this course. So I'm not going to run through all of the modules, but just by looking at this page, this is giving you a snapshot of everything that the course has. It's 10 specific modules. It's really easy to access. Everything is right there in front of your face. Um, and then because you guys are, and actually I'm jumping ahead, but because you guys are watching this masterclass, you're gonna get the first access to our early bird bonuses, which I'm about to go over in a sec, uh, in a second. But why should you buy this course? Okay, if I were you, I'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe you're only charging this amount. <laughs> we're charging the most insane price. And that's because Odilia and I, when we were having our conversations behind the scenes around what we were witnessing, we were like, we just need to make this accessible for people. We just need as many people to get on board with live selling in a way that they are actually making money and gaining confidence and getting results um, so that we can continue to grow this community to the next level, to the next generation, to the next iteration of what it's supposed to be moving forward. We, we want to see you guys succeed. Um, you're going to learn something new from each of our uh, modules. I've said this three times already, but we literally taught each other building this course. They're also very easy to listen to. I already mentioned this, but you know, again, sometimes it's kind of like, oh, I don't have time for a live sale course. I don't have time to learn. You guys, all you have to do is log in on your phone and you can listen to us wherever you are. You can plug us into your car. You can learn wherever you are thanks to this, thanks to the structure of this live sale course. And then, you know, live selling became popular in 2020. That is when Vintage and Lux Boss Babes, which was then Thrift Boss Babes, we started hosting live sales. Um, the climate has changed. Um, the climate has changed in a lot of really intricate ways. Um, I still think that there's so much room for success. And I want you guys to get up to date around what's relevant today in 2023. So if you purchase the course now, you're going to get insane bonuses. So we are giving you guys until midnight on June 12th for this special early bird price, which I'm about to tell you guys as well as early bird bonuses. So you're probably like, okay, Sammy, get to the point. What is the price? <laughs> it is just $97. $97 for you guys to invest in yourselves, to invest in your mindset, to invest in what's to come for you to level up in your live sale business. But this opportunity is only available until midnight on Monday, June 12th. Why do we do this? Because I know I need a deadline for everything in my life. And I usually procrastinate and I do it at the last minute. I built these slides today, today, <laughs> but they're fine. But still, I needed a deadline of this masterclass. So you guys need a deadline of when to purchase for just $97, a live sale course that you literally could make a return on later this month. And here's how you're going to make a return on that. Because we've got these early bird bonuses for you guys. Okay, this is the official flyer. I'm going to fast forward to the bonuses because I'm so excited to share it with you. Okay, so Ojilia and I came together and we were like, okay, how do we incentivize as many people as possible to learn, to learn to um, invest in themselves? So we have $375 in freebies that you can get by purchasing for just $97 by midnight on June 12th. First and foremost, I'm skipping to the very bottom. Okay, so you see me like kicking in the air, go to the very bottom. You're going to get a free two hour loyal shops live. So that $97 you can make back times five in that free live. So just don't even think about the money. And I'm not trying to be a used car salesman here, but like it's true. If you take advantage of this freebie alone, you will be fine. Number two, you're also going to get what Odilia and I made last fall, which was the be on the lookout, be on the lookout valuable vintage clothing guide. And this is going to give you guys about 50 different brands to look for when you're in a thrift store, 
because they are what we call bolos, which are be on the lookout. Number three, if you wanna work with myself and Odelia, we have never promoted coaching together and I have not promoted coaching um, for me, I think until like, I, I think since 2021. So instead of normally charging $400 for four sessions, we are just asking $200 for four sessions. You will get two with me and two with Odelia. This is something you can purchase on the back end. You don't have to purchase that when you buy the course, you, you can purchase that later, but because you buy the course, you get access to that. So let's say you guys are like, oh, but I have this really specific need and I wanna get exact insight on it. This is your opportunity to get four one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, two with me and two with Odilia. And then we have talked about ISO. So ISO is a brand new live sale platform, very similar to whatnot, but very different. And we are building on ISO. And it is a, an amazing opportunity to be at the forefront of live sale technology. Yes. So if you join, or I'm so sorry, if you buy this live sale course, you have the opportunity to book a one hour, one on one coaching session with me. So I can show you more intimately how to use ISO. Currently, we have onboarding sessions where there's a team of people supporting you and you're with other people. But I realize that, you know, some people want that that one on one interaction. So consider that another opportunity to get coaching. So it's really a no brainer, guys. Um, you know, is this, is that the same plot? The, oh, there we go. I'm sorry. It's it's a no brainer, guys. But here's the truth. We are going to increase the price. So June 13th, no freebies. And it's going to be about $167, which I think is still an amazing deal. Um, it's still very accessible. But we do suggest that you guys jump over to Live Sales Success and grab the course while you can. Um, again, you're going to get that free live. So what's going to happen is like once you grab the course, you'll be able to access um, on the back end. And there'll be a section called Early Bird Bonuses. And there will be a link there where you can book your live sale sometime over the next three months. So you don't have to book that live sale next week. You don't have to book it even in July. You can do it until the very end of August. So you can go through the live sale course and then have your free live ready for you. Also, again, you're going to be able to, uh, to grab one-on-one -on -one coaching with us for the discounted price of just $200. And that's something that you're going to buy after you buy the live sale course. It's just going to be another link where you can check out and you can purchase coaching. So I don't know what more you guys need. But <laughs> the, goal, the goal of this, again, was that we, we want you to gain confidence we want yes. you to level up your life sales success. And so again, initially this course was gonna, I think it was gonna be like 497 or something, or maybe 297 early bird and then 497. And we just we came together and we were like, no, like we need everyone to have access to this because yes. we know that the ripple effect of you guys learning is going to help everyone else. Yes. Everyone's gonna show up and we're gonna have more customers because we have more quality sellers. Yes. And on Facebook overall, right? Because it's not just about Vintage Lux Boss Babes. It's about all of those other amazing yeah. buy-sell communities. And you can take these skills there, right? You know, you can That's sell wherever you want and you can sell with my group. You can sell with other groups. Look, it's an open door. It doesn't matter. Um, so all you have to do is head to livesalesuccess.com. And I'm going to show you guys when you scroll to the very bottom, that's where you can check out. So you can check out currently with credit card or PayPal. Um, it is a one-time fee of just $97. You're going to get a receipt. You're going to get an email. The email is going to explain to you guys how you can log into the course. You can always email me with questions. If you're like, oh, I can't figure it out. Don't worry. We are there for you. And I really wanted, I wanted to quickly show you guys the back end of the course. So hopefully this plays. Okay. So you can see me scrolling down. So everything's really easy. It says like introduction and then self-defeating self thoughts. Every module has a title. And then when you go to the module, it's, it's our video and then it's an MP3. And then you can see me here downloading our documents. So the document is a script of the video module and then a summary, because some of us just want cliff notes, okay? Um, here's another module because you just press next lesson. So if you guys are really ambitious, you could probably take the whole course in a weekend. 
Um, but it's about 10 videos at an average of 45 minutes each. And we really go in, guys. It's almost like you're listening to a podcast episode. Yeah. So I realize, okay, I've been on a ton of webinars and master classes, and I'm just like, oh, I want it, but I don't know. And I don't know if I'm ready. And like, I've hesitated. So I understand that you might not feel ready to jump into live selling, but here's just a few more reminders to ease your doubts before we close this out. By purchasing this course through midnight on Monday, remember, you're gonna have one-on-one -on -one training, uh, learning how to use ISO, and you're gonna have the opportunity to book one-on-one -on -one coaching at a reduced price with us, and you're gonna get that Be On The Lookout Valuable Ventures Clothing Guide for free, which is gonna teach you more about Valuable Ventures Clothing. So right out the gate, we're giving you guys, especially those of you that are like, I've never hosted a live sale, I'm freaking out. We're giving you guys some more hands-on connection um, so that if you, need that extra, if you need that extra support, you can get it. And you're not like, oh my God, I took this live sale course, but I'm still not feeling ready. So, I don't know what you guys have to lose. I know for, from my perspective, back to what Odilia said, in all honesty, the only thing you have to lose is time. But in life, it's about taking that jump. It's about taking the chance on ourselves. It's about listening to our inner voice. Um, and sometimes it's taking that next step that just gets us the next step and the next step and the next step. And from the bottom of our hearts, I know I speak for us both, like we really designed this course to make sure that it was accessible for you guys, affordable for you guys to get you to that next step. So yes. I really don't think you have anything to lose because you're going to get to a next step just by learning from this course. Just by coming to this masterclass, you guys have made strides in your live sale business, in your confidence, in your business mindset. Yes. Um, yeah. So like, this is our last slide. This is the slide where like, if you feel like emailing me, I'm gonna write back to you immediately. We have about four days for you guys to purchase at the early bird special. So I encourage you to jump on it, but you're gonna be reminded about how to purchase the course. So if you need to ask some questions beforehand, I totally get it. Um, I want you guys to get the information you need um, before you decide to um, invest in yourself. But on that note, Odelia, is there anything I missed? And then if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments. Um, if there are questions that we feel like are better served on a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, yeah. we'll be honest with you. Right. If there are questions that we can answer now, we will spend the last few minutes answering them. Yeah, um, I think we covered everything. It's about what she just said, investing in yourself. We had planned on... Um, this was going to be a very specific course for um, a lot yeah. higher, but it I think it serves everybody's better purpose. It serves it's more of a service, really, in the true sense of the word, if it's accessible to everybody. And quite frankly, um, this is not oh well, you're going to use these skills and just sell on Boss Bay's. No, you can take these everywhere. But hopefully, you're going to really um, you're going to really invest in yourself. You're going to get confident. You are going to use them in Boss Bay's, and you're going to um, use um, invest it or take advantage of the free um, lo the loyal shops or the ISO. And really, just uh, this is such a great opportunity. That it's open to everybody, and it's accessible. And I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, everybody needs a little help. You know, yeah. why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you take it and, uh, and see what's on the other side? You know, the only thing that you're going to lose is time, but honestly, um, you're only going to get better from this. So might as well go for it. Right. And then $97. Oh yeah. You're going to make up for it in that life. That first life. You, I mean, yeah, you are, <laughs> you, you definitely are. And I mean, I probably shouldn't say it like that. Cause it's like no promises, but right. after learning from our course, like the odds are much higher. I'll just yes. say that. The odds yes. are much okay. higher that you're going to get that return on investment. Straight. And if you need that extra coaching, if you're, if you're scared about the tech part, if you think you can't yeah. sign on to a lot of people are like, the part that I'm scared about is like, even just being on a live, like, what if I don't know that's the, that's actually the easy part. We can walk yeah. you through that. That's actually the easy part. If you are willing to do it, but you're nervous about your um, inventory or you need help with the pricing and it's such a personal thing uh, that you need one-on-one, -on -one, that's what the coaching is for. I mean, 
uh, yeah, don't worry. We got you covered. You can do this. We can all do it. And, uh, and this is where, this is where lifestyle is going. So let's just like embrace it and make some money and help each other. I love it. I love it. And we just had a quick question about equipment that you use for your live sales. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's covered, I think in our prep video. Yeah. Like yeah. But, um, I mean, equipment as far as like measuring tapes and mannequins and like, what, you know, your phone, the ring light, that kind of thing. Yes. That's just, um, that's the fun stuff. That's the easy stuff. You can have it with that. It's the get out there and like be prepared and, and, and be confident. That's all. That's the stuff that, that's the stuff that really counts, but yeah. the equipment's the easy part. I promise. Yeah. But I is. get it. If you're not used to it, it's a little nerve wracking, but that is the easy part. I promise. Yeah. I mean, I always tell people, I'm like, don't buy everything out the gate. No, don't do it. Get don't do it. Um, and like, just back to what Odile was talking about. I mean, we have a whole module that's really just like walking you through how do you find that live sales space? And it does. Yeah. How do you find that live sales space? I mean, you're fine. You probably have everything you need at home, but I mean, eventually if you're like me, yay, Doreen, I already signed up. If you're like me or, um, you know, um, I'm always, Hey, how do I make my life so better? How do I make my lighting better? How do I make my, my, you know, uh, um, I mean, it's just, it's, a, it's, it's exciting because you start to want to like make the experience better for the viewer, but yeah. trust me, you have everything you need right now. Yes. And buy this and you will be set. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you to everyone. We had, um, you know, when I checked, we had, we still have, wow, there's still 19 of you here. Wow. I'm, 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 I'm so excited. I, I mean, I just, I'm so excited to see all of you make more money, you know, and to have more confidence and to be like, yes, this is possible for me. And um, to just share your love of, of fashion, share your You love. are the expert of what you sell. You yes. are already the expert. We're just bringing that out. Thank so thank you for being here. Thank you, Dolores. So for those of you who are tuning into the replay, if you are watching to this point, but there will be information um, in your replay emails. And those of you that are watching live, you're still gonna be on the replay email chain. So you'll get more information. You know, if someone messages me with, an, with a question, I might address it in an email just so that everyone can see my answer, um, just so that you guys can all get that answer because you might have the same question. Um, but we will be promoting this course until midnight, um, which is uh, midnight, Monday, June 12th. And then the price will go up. You can still buy it on June 13th. It's just going to be almost double in price without the bonuses. Um, and Odelia, you know, we were briefly talking before this masterclass and I was like, Odelia, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. But there are more things coming down the pipe. So we hope that you continue to work with us and trust us and, um, and learn. And thank you, Odelia, um, for making yourself available. Um, Odelia is really doing this as a passion project. She can make a lot more on a live sale and I've seen her numbers. So I know that's true. Um, but she's at a stage in her life where she wants to give back. And so Odelia, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. You guys. Mentors gonna... are vital. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to end the recording.